Every once in a while you come across a product and you look at the specifications and where it's made and where it's sold and you say to yourself, wow, they're probably priced way beyond their competitors. You see that little flag and you make the investment anyway. In this video, we're gonna let you know if you spent that money, made the investment, would it be worth it? It's all coming right up after this message from our sponsor, VCG Construction. Head on over to the merch store, you can get hats, hoodies, t-shirts, link will be down below. So what we have here is a countersink style kit from Montana. This is a 10 piece kit made in the USA. It's also made for impact drivers. I've used a style of countersink kit very similar to this. I mean, almost down to the brass release would make me believe that maybe Montana is the company that makes that countersink kit for the other brand. Leave it down below if you've been around the very cool gang so long that you've seen that previous review, you know the brand that I've used for years and frankly like best. It seems like maybe if I cut out the middleman between Montana and myself, that's why you would get such an unbelievable price. This kit, 10 pieces, is only 20 bucks at Woodcraft. When you think of made in the USA, you think of Woodcraft, you think high prices, right? Is it me? For 20 bucks for this kit, if it's as good as the brand that I've used previously, I think it's a no brainer. I will let you know that Will B reached out to us and Montana. He has no affiliation with Montana at all, but he loves their products. He asked them to send this over to us and we appreciate it because we always like sharing better alternatives with the very cool gang. These are also available directly from Montana brand tools. They're located on Innovation Drive in Montana. You know what else is made in the USA? My Spyderco Power 3. It's made in Golden, Colorado here on planet Earth. They include four drive bits in these little silic silicon holders, pretty cool. They have a number three bit in here, as well as two number twos and a number one. We're gonna discuss that in a minute. We have three size countersinks with pilot. I gotta tell you, nice little blow molded case. But you can see here, we have a number six, a number 10. Oh no, I'm sorry, this is a number 12. And this should be a number eight. No, this is number 10. Wow, for a second, I'm thinking to myself, we got a six, we got a 10, we got a 12. They're missing the biggest countersink, the one that I use most often. I was a little disappointed, but you know what? I guess I need to open my eyes a little bit bigger because they've included the number eight right here. I guess they figured that this is the most used industry-wide, so they put it right in here. Now, let's pull out our Oh, oh, I like this. You drop in your counter sink, sink, click down, and now your bit's secure in here. Let me show you how this will work for some of you who have not seen this before. We're gonna start with the way they have this assembled. And we're gonna start by countersinking some holes into this dog fur. Now, here's the important part. They say that this kit will work with a drill driver or an impact driver. Now, if you plan on using this with an impact driver, I would suggest designating it for impact driver use only because once you start chucking it into your drill driver, it's gonna chew up this quarter inch shank that's made for that ball detent, but because it's all chewed up, it might not engage. Me personally, I just find that I reach for my drill driver, especially when countersinking and driving screws into hardwoods, I wanna be able to dial my tool in, be able to choose speed one and, and go in there with the torque and speed that a drill driver can deliver, as opposed to the hammering of an impact driver. You know, sledgehammer, impact driver, scalpel, drill driver. If you look at that silicon sleeve, 
I, I guess it does kind of give you a way you could grip, if you wanted to, a couple of, of points of contact. Not bad. So this is what you would do. You'd start out on the countersink side. You drill your hole. You know, a lot of times it's going to be a fixed piece of material. You'd blow it out. And you can see the hole is countersunk with a pilot. Really, really great. Depending on the bugle, the type of screw, you might want to go deeper, you might want to go more shallow, just so that your screw head is countersunk into the material. Maybe you just want to drill a shallow hole. I feel like these kits really do a great job of giving you the control that you need. Okay, now, here's the best part. You push up, you flip your kit here, pull back, you're locked in. I would switch to speed one, but that's me. How's the magnetism? Yo, look at the magnetism and the fit. That's really nice. And then you just drive your screw. In my opinion, you know, for demonstration purposes, I went a little, I did go a little deep. You might be drilling a hole for a plug. At that point, you know, depending on your fastener and what you're doing, the work you're doing, okay, you put a dowel in there, cut off, sand down, you already have your pre-made plugs, but you could see you have some versatility. I really like the, the way those bits grab. Maybe you just need to be flush with your material. And you could do that as well. Now, make no mistake about it, that countersunk hole isn't gonna stop you from drilling, driving your screw in deeper. I mean, you know, but you can see, you have flexibility with this kit. Very deep, you could go shallow, whatever, whatever you need. I really like it. When I'm doing countersink work, generally I'm using wood fasteners and the wood fasteners that I use are not number, they're not number two Phillips. They are indeed number six and number eight Torx. So we'd have to swap out this counter, this, this one countersink, okay? So what we would do is, this is pretty cool. On the back end here, you have that, the Allen key required, okay? You pop it in, back this off. I would just back it out enough that you can release your countersink, okay? We're gonna tighten that down. Do not over tighten per the instructions, okay? This is the important part though. We're gonna back out our drive here, we're gonna pop in our T20 drive. In all honesty, this is the way I most likely will use this kit. This is for demonstration purposes. Maybe we're putting together a sub assembly for some reason. Maybe we're tying, you know, whatever. We're tying two pieces of one by together, two pieces of, of two by, whatever it may be. We need something stronger than finish nails. We want to be able to uh, fill a hole with, with, with putty or a plug and not have the material mushroom. This is going to come, this, this kit will come in perfect. And the most important part is it's fast. I probably, so what I would do is I'd, I'd start one screw, then I'd get this tied together. Once we're tied together, I would then come in, I would, I would drill my second hole. Most likely I would put a, a third, probably overkill, but. Flip it around. We have three countersunk holes. It's nice and sturdy. Even if you were using this to make frames for soundproofing, panels, whatever it would be. This is nice and flush. If it needed to be finished better, you can plug this, fill this. Maybe this is for stair skirts. There are a million places that a countersink kit will come in handy. Here's, here's why I like this style of countersink kit so much. If you're not using this flip style countersink kit, okay, you would have to have a drill 
and a driver or a drill driver for both processes, for drilling and then driving of your fastener. This combines both actions into one tool accessory and you can use one tool. I don't know why I find this so interesting and why I'm surprised by this, but each driver bit is stamped USA as well. I think this is a great kit for 20 bucks. I would like it if they maybe got rid of one of the number two drives and put in a Torx 20 would be great for me, but you know, I'm sure they've listened to their clients and they've made the kit that works best for the largest majority of their clients. Pretty awesome. And if you like companies that listen to their clients, smash the like button. It's free for you to do. Doesn't cost you a dime. And it's not like smashing a mirror anywhere else in the universe. Smashing the like button here will get you seven years of good luck. Leave it down in the comment section below. Did you think that this countersink kit from Montana, because of where it's sold and where it's made, would have cost more? Should have been 30, 40 bucks. Do you use Montana? Do you like them? Do you hate them? Would you consider using Montana in the future now that you know a little bit more about them? We want to know. Leave it all below. With that, I want to say I appreciate each and every one of you being here. Thanks a lot, everybody. Hope to see you on the next one. Video's over, but I know you want more. So this is how you're going to get it. First thing you need to do is pretend you're this guy. And you're here at the birthplace of freedom. Now ring that bell like it's 1776 and let all notifications through. What? You're not subscribed yet? Well, smash this button here. After that, watch this video here, here, and maybe over here. See you later.